Another tool that you could use to inspect images is the intensity histogram. Now, the intensity histogram can be incredibly useful when you want to look at the intensity values for an image that contains multiple objects or multiple cells. To plot an image histogram, you can use the function histogram in MATLAB. And in this case, the first argument of the histogram function will be the matrix containing your image data. Let's switch over to MATLAB to see how this works. I'm going to use the example image cardio multi cell dot tiff. So I'm going to read in the image using IM read and display it using IM show. So you can see here that this is an image that contains multiple cells. I'm going to dock this image. All right, let's now create a new figure window using the command figure. Now let's plot the histogram using the function histogram. Now, as you can see, MATLAB by default scales the y-axis to include all the data points in the plot. However, the data that we really want to look at is in this intensity range down here. So we can use the magnifying glass tool to zoom in on that region. All right, now that we know that we want to zoom in to um, a y-axis of between zero and a thousand, in the future, we can use the function ylim to specify the limits of the y-axis. ylim takes in an argument that is a one by two matrix and it has the minimum value of the y-axis and the maximum value of the y-axis. Going back to MATLAB, let's enter in ylim open parentheses, open square bracket, zero thousand and if we switch back to our histogram you can see that now the y-axis is scaled between zero and a thousand now the axes for an intensity histogram are grayscale levels or pixel values along the x-axis and number of pixels along the y-axis so let's go ahead and label these pixels using the x label and y label functions Now, an intensity histogram really contains a wealth of information. Hopefully, it is easy to understand that these dark pixels on the left of the plot correspond to the distribution of intensities of the background. And these group of pixels here are in the cells. So if you're using an intensity histogram to choose a threshold value, you will pick a gray level that was in between these two peaks. So in this case, I might pick a value of around 6300. 